Welcome everyone back to the Aquatic Dome. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of videos for the winter special, but now we are back in the Aquatic Dome. In case you don't know what the Aquatic Dome is, there's a playlist for you right to the top right side. You can just click it. We are building a hyper-realistic Aquatic Dome and today we are basically building, I think it is by... Yeah, uh, not much, but a little bit, uh, let's say like 2%, uh, my favorite episode so far. And I'm going to show you why in the real-time part. I think this is the best uh, part about it. But I'm trying to do the last animal of the Aquatic DLC today, um, which is the Diamondback Terrapin, which obviously is by far the least interesting one in terms of, uh, let's say, YouTube and let's say in general interest, because exhibit animals in this game... Um, for a good reason, um, are not that much, um, you know, element of interest uh, as other things are. But I try to do something in particular. I can see this over here. I try to make sure that this habitat looks like a habitat rather than the exhibit. And I did a certain little trick here. Um, and this is actually... Um, for some awkward reasons, the enrichment item for the dingoes, the dingo pool, um, has no hitbox, it seems. You can push it basically into everything you want, um, including shops, exhibits, and everything else, which is pretty insane because it has some cool water effects in, as you can see. It's like a little pond. And <laughs> this is obviously a lot easier than uh, other water to uh, manipulate. So, you know, I could have tried to make like a little uh, pool in here, but you know, as, as small as you get, um, it's going to get a lot more um, tricky. And so what I did over here um, is basically um, creating a fake terrapin habitat that is a bit bigger than what you're used to seeing. Um, so it's almost like a, uh, let's say, 8 by 4 meters exhibit. And I, you know, obviously use also um, some glass elements and stuff to make sure it all looks together at you know, as if it was one habitat. I try my best to make it uh, blend into each other as best as I could. And I have to say, in the real-time part, you will see that it actually works, um, specifically when you change the lighting. And I mean, come on, this is something I'm so hyped about because this is something I wanted to do for a while to kind of create finally an exhibit that I'm happy with in the end. You know, it's, it, I don't know, it's, it's weird. You, you plop it down, and then it's there and you can click some elements to design it and that's basically about it. You know, there is not that much of a challenge to build exhibits normally. And since I wanted to make this full aquatic experience for you guys, I needed to build this this way. And yeah, it's just turning out pretty nice. And then there's something else. Um, <laughs> what we're building right now is a, a very specific thing I saw in a uh, do-it-yourself shop. Uh, we were going to a do-it-yourself do shop uh, a few weeks ago, um, getting some stuff for our flat here. We needed some lights and stuff like that, you know, boring, boring stuff, to be honest. But... Um, there was one showcase area for lamps, you know, um, and then they had this uh, awesome wall decoration and r kind of ceiling decoration of fake plants. And then into these fake plants, they were putting these different um, lanterns and stuff. And I found this very nice looking. I, I It kind of had a little, little bit of a design flair to it. And I was like, OK, you know, uh, we have this wonderful new planter pieces in this game with the fake plants uh, on, on the wooden uh I don't know even what that is, a wooden slab over here, we can put it on. And yeah, I was figuring, hey, wouldn't that be a cool thing to have it as a little deco element in this build? And I just went there and built it. Um, and I will provide this for you guys in the workshop. Uh, if I remember, I will even do it today. Um, so you guys have these lampposts as a little blueprint as well. You can use them in your parks because I find this very nice looking. And I'm going to go for a thumb today that is basically not clicky, but I love the picture too much. And I'm going to, I'm going to just deal with um, the the lower amount of views, I guess, um, because simply. Uh, because <laughs> simply because um, I like this picture too much, and you know, talking of that, about that, it's not that big of a thing. Uh, you know, sometimes on YouTube, you just learn that there are some thumbnails that are very clicky that just work, and then there are others that just don't. And mostly, beautiful pictures don't work. Um, this is something I learned, <laughs> especially from the lay designer. But yeah, it's it's a little bit of a pity. Um, I'm I'm kind of obsessed with these beautiful screenshots in the game, and I would love to take them all the time as thumbnails, but I can I can see that they are really not clicky at all. Um, funny enough, the thumbnails that I find the most ugly 
are performing the best, which I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my weird brain or I don't know. Um, but sometimes I just still go, um, let's say, form over function uh, at some point, uh, which means I'm taking the, the, the actual thumbnail I want to take uh, rather than the one that I know would be clicky, but I find ugly. You know what I mean? Um, but today we are definitely going to do this um, in a way that I'm very happy and satisfied with it. Yeah, also giving in a little bit of an alternation over here, as you can see, just making sure it all looks good. And um, yeah, just overall, I was uh, taking a lot of stuff out of the build so far to be coherent with what we've built and just making sure that the transition is nice. Uh, today, you will actually see the, the dome, inside of the dome, in its full glory, um, let's say, status quo, 80% of what is already done. Uh, so quite far ahead, because uh, I think... I can't even show you any more of the old footage now because it w it's all so chaotic. I don't know. I just recorded here and there and right and left and up and down. And it's just like you can't even follow. Um, so I left it all in today to make sure that we finally are at a sp certain spot. And I can already tell you that there are two more things coming. So first things uh, that is coming next is the saltwater crocodile episode um, during this week. And then there will be a restaurant, because I figured I will do it. Um, because th there's one more thing I wanted to do with this build before we finish it, and this is definitely a restaurant. Um, uh, two different reasons why. Um, first thing is that I need still something attention-grabbing at the very back of the zoo, or at, at the park, at the build, however you want to call it, to make sure that people go there. Um, and secondly, we don't really have that many food sources in this area. And, uh, yeah. and also, the only chance I have is to limit the amount of guests by 500, which is already pretty crowded in here. So if I let uh, 500 guests in, uh, they're already getting, going to be stuck in here. So I want to make sure it spreads out as much as we can. So I have to make sure that the area is a little bit bigger and I will do a few little things. Over here you can already see the first little bits of uh, building for the salt water underwater viewing. Um, this is just, you know, for the moment is a uh, work in progress. I will have to do a bit more of a nice scenery around here. Um, but just for the moment, I wanted to finish this area off just to make sure that I have an idea where the gaps are going and stuff like that. But now, um, first of all, Actually, not first of all. We are already like, how long in? Seven and a half minutes into this video. So seven of all, I don't know. <laughs> um, thank you guys again uh, so much for still being with me here in the video. So for those of you who are still in the video, um, please let me guys know in the comments down below uh, if, you, if you still enjoy this aquatic dome build. And again, this is the little... Um, question for you or exactly not a question it's, it's more like a, a task if you spot something in this build what you find not super realistic let me know in the comments down below because i want to tweak this as long as possible to make it as realistic as possible because that was my challenge i'm still very happy that most of you agree with me that this is my best build so far in zoo uh, but, you know, there's just still so much I can improve and I really need your feedback on that in order to be able to improve it. So there are a lot of things I have already planned to do, some sneaky little details that you haven't seen in the speed builds and you will only be able to spot uh, in a tour or when I show them to you in, in the detail. But you can even see I'm going the very last meter here to, um, to make sure every little bit is kind of covered. I just can't stand these. Like, honestly, I have an obsession of making sure these curbs of pathways are not able to be seen. I think there is not a single um, inch in this build where you can see the curbs. And there's a reason for that. I hate them. It doesn't matter if they're on the ground or, you know, race path. I hate the curbs. I don't know. They just give me this, this feeling of it looks ugly and it, it's not it's not smooth and it's not seamless. I don't know. I just can't even tell you why. I really hate it. I can see there's over there, there is a little spot um, I forgot. I will have to fix that eventually. Um, but as of now, um, I will try to hide them all away. It's actually horrible. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of other stuff I'm doing on the other side. So um, there's just a little lantern design I'm going to go uh, do here just to make the harbor area look a bit more like the harbor area. And then there's one last thing we have to do, and this is where I need to have most of the feedback on. And this is definitely the, <laughs> oh my god, I have still no single clue how to make the heat 
go in and out in this build. Like I'm going to show you in the real time part, but there's this tiny bit of issue I have that this is a whole dome and in the middle of the dome, there is our two areas and uh, this island of, let's say the Terrapin on one side and the shops on the other. But obviously both areas would need to have like a completely different temperature. And I have a certain idea but I'm not sure if that's the right one. So you will see in the real time part. I'm going to show you in detail. But, ah, uh, God, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have a clever idea we can use um, that will help me. Maybe you don't. Who knows? But, yeah. Also, you can see I'm trying to use some pieces here to make the harbor area look a bit more grown. Um, these would also be fake plants all over here. I'm just putting them in to make them look nice. But just, you know, they are fake plants. Anyways, let's jump over into the real time part so I can actually show this to you in action. And then, uh, yeah. See you there. See you after the cut. All right, and here we are, guys, in the real time part. And oh boy, eh, this is, as I said, this area must be my favorite area so far. You can see the otters swimming around over here. Um, this is the otter area, you remember, and it changed so dramatically now. Look at, look at this. This gives you really the jungle vibes I was trying to do. And I used also a few little tricks over here, like, um, from a perspective, I didn't want to make it all so high because I wanted to keep the dome open as possible to make like an airflow possible. But um, I still wanted to make you, f you know, feel a bit more crammed into the jungle, you know, a little bit more cozy, a little bit more, I don't know, lush. This is, I think lush is the word we are looking for. And, you know, when you're standing below here, below these lights and stuff, it feels really like being in a jungle, you know, because it's actually having something from above, something from the front, something from the back. And you can see over here, this is what I meant. This is the terrapin habitat. And you can see, this is where the animals would actually live in. Um, there you can see one idling around here. And then I made this as if there's like a little gap for them to go in. And then this would be the other part of the habitat. I would have loved to have like a little statue or so of them that I could put down. But for whatever reasons, obviously we don't have, or do we? Actually, do we? I think we don't, right? Terra... Well, there are only these things and, well, they just don't work whatsoever. Yeah, no, actually that would have, would have been nice, but it, it, it just isn't. Um, and then obviously what we also have over here is an education point. And you can see there's like a five on the ground and we have these um, rubber pads over here that actually show you the way of our tour. And then this is the five and you can go over here for the terrapin. Um, but on here there's like an education point where they would realistically tell you about the terrapin and also about the otter. Uh, because that's the otter habitat from the other side and you can see them swimming and diving in here as they should and yeah if you go further this is like another you know uh, kind of airlock over here that goes um, into this area and then we are on the harbor part which is then being above level of the harbor and uh, there are some of the dudes chilling in here having a good time and then we also have the penguins on this side and I think this is this is kind of cool from over here it really shows you the way I wanted to make it look and I think it looks pretty dang cool I made this tree in the middle to have like another visual um, pivot point so to say um, and also make sure that this is like a little separation of two areas left hand side right hand side um, and also you can see over here we are also having a little bit of a different viewing spot of what is going to be the saltwater crocodile habitat I can tell you it's done already so it's kind of nice and you can see there is um, I completely did this area already um, with long, some plans there is the elevator that is going you know, from over here you can go down and then uh, you are basically back in what we've done last time. This is the elevator, you can take it up and then boom, you are coming out of here. This is for our friends um, and for obviously also the disabled people. I'm still not sure how I make them go up here because this, this area is at the moment not traversable for those people. Um, and I think I'm going to make like a little ramp that goes over here on the side, just making sure that they can still go up here. Um, but yeah, just in general, I'm very happy with how this all turned out. Like if we just go up a little bit, you can see um, this is the dome looking from the inside. And I mean, come on, this just looks this just looks really cool, doesn't it? I'm really happy with how this turned out. Just making sure that everything is looking good, everything is looking fine, everything is looking uh, exactly the way it should. It, the interaction works, it's looking a lot more I don't know, um, small, is that the right word, or cramped? I wanted to make it look cramped, but still give you the spacious feeling. But now the big issue we have, and this is really a big issue, 
as this is the tropical area which needs to be warm and that is the more cold area which needs to be cold I need to get a separation in and my idea was to make like a huge glass wall that goes through here and then all the way around here and then continues following this path over here and then just concludes by closing off this area. See what I mean? Um, this is my idea I have right now, but I have no idea how this would look because we, the glass pieces we have in the game are not, I'm, I would love to use actually the barrier, but I can't because there's obviously no ground I could put it on, um, which is a bit of a problem. I mean, I could try to fake it by making Actually, I don't know if this works. Maybe I have to try and see if that works by putting down some fake uh, terrain in, put the put the stuff down, and then delete this again. I don't know if this works. Maybe we can we can try that. But um, the problem I have with the glass pieces is obviously that this would look uh, kind of weird. So also maybe I'm just making some poles, and we just kind of envision that this would be glass pieces or maybe you guys have a better idea i don't actually have a better idea right now uh, because we also have to make sure that this works with the roof and yeah we would also need to cover up this area because that is also still hot we have a heater here this is the little area for our friends the caimans where are they by the way okay there's one idling in the outside i don't know where the other ones is i have no freaking idea where they are around what about down here in the water yeah there's the ones idling over here cool um but yeah so this is how it looks and i feel like from flying through here it looks already oh my god it looks so good already <laughs> it's just looking so so good and then to the outside i mean it's still everything is working you can see all the babies over here they just can't swim to the friends to the inside quite yet because they are still babies but yeah you have them all out here they can just swim over into the other area if they want but there's still some work to do um, there's still something I need to fix over here, but uh, I hope this is going to to happen rather soon And yeah, that's mainly about it for today. You can see how this area is slowly shaping up guys. It's really It's really coming together and oh my god I'm so excited to show it to you in full glory once it's uh, finally done um, Because yeah, the the tour is really worth doing it. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm just very happy I hope you guys are too now, let me know in the comments down below how you like this project so far. And also, please, if you guys are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing as uh, so you always, um, yeah, you always know when there is a new video coming. Also, there's a lot of cool stuff happening next year. So in case you are interested in that, uh, make sure to join the Discord because I have already announced something in there. I will talk about this a bit more in the upcoming weeks and then you guys get this also. But uh, news are first in Discord as always. However, have a good Monday, everyone. Enjoy your time, stay safe everyone, very important, and I talk to you.